Hey everybody, Bongo here, Poultry People. You know what you've come here for, it's to look at the new evolution circuit saw because you're thinking of buying one or whatever. So I thought I'd cover a few bits that we've done with it already. I've had it a good month, we've had it a good month now because this is actually men's sheds. I brought it back up here today so we get a bit of, get a bit of peace and quiet if the crows weren't kicking off. Bloody crows, they're off the heads. Peace and quiet out of the country. You'd have to wait for a delivery van just to go then. Oh, sat there for 10 minutes with his engine running. What a racket. Here we go, Miss. Okay, the F165 CCSL. I've taken out the box. You don't need all that stuff in the box. All you really need is the guide here. There's Allen keys, but these days they're building the Allen keys into the units, which is quite handy, which means you don't lose them. Yeah, so there's not a lot to it, is there? You know what I mean? You press the, if you want to change the blade, press that button in, undo it, put a new one in, and yada yada yada. If you want to angle it, it's a case of adjusting, and doing all sorts with it. But it's there, and it all seems to lock quite nicely. Nice plastic buttons here and there. It's the usual thumb, press that. It's a decent weight. Looks fairly well constructed. I've got the old ones here. This is the Rage 3B. And I've also got the Fury. They're both still running. They're both really doing well. This one gets used for cutting up firewood and just beasts it all day long. And then my partner's got this up in her workshop and she uses it a lot. Little issue there with the cable on that one. Cut through the cable on this one. Cable's been cut through on this one as well. But what I do like is... They've given an extra metre of cord with this one, which makes it a lot more usable, flexible when you're working in the work environment gives you a bit, bit, bit of extra reach that you're not constantly having to pull or move the move the cord about the place, it's just better to have it that's, that's a nice feature though they've put an extra extra bit of uh, leadage on there it's got the usual evolution cut capability it'll go through wood, steel, aluminium, plastic just cuts through it, they're great. We've used this a bit, we've not used it a lot. We did a few projects down at men's sheds with it. Big shed there, putting trim on it, ripping boards down. Uh, what else have we done with it? Made a cabinet with it, so we had to cut a door down. Door's quite thick, just head straight through it. Nice, clean, fairly clean cut as well. Oak worktop, off cut off. That's pretty good. I like the evolution stuff because I do a lot with pallets. And the problem with pallets is you get nails in them. Now, I don't know what happened to that nail, but it went. Straight through nails, no messing about. And it's not just nails either. If you wanted to cut something that was quite substantial, so for example, you're on site, you've got a piece of rebar. Fucking hell. Straight through the rebar, cold cut. And then we're back onto cutting wood again on the same blade. Still quite a nice cut. There's some tears in there, but we're not doing fine furniture. If you're looking for something to do fine furniture and give yourself fine cuts, go for a wood dedicated blade only, and don't cut steel with it. 
that that's that's the, that's the thing it's, it's it's a it's a budget tool anyway but it's got this great capability of having a, a blade on it that will cut steel and plastics and wood but don't expect Chippendale type finishes off it off straight off the cut if you wanted to get that then you have to touch it up with you know sandpaper after that and a sander nice cut though bloody hell look at that that's that's pretty decent though so it's a good recommended circuit so crack on make something that's it thanks for watching